Alright, so some people make box opening videos on YouTube, get millions of hits. Now, I've been working on exoskeletons for about 10 years, 20 years, I guess, for my science fiction movie. I've had this guy for a while. This is an exoskeleton from... I found at Toys R Us, but they're gone now. Uh, this one, unopened, has some accessories, and I always wondered what attached to these. There's knobs, kind of like Centurions. Back in the 80s and 90s, they had Centurions. You could attach things to them. Now, these are real. Our armed forces have real exoskeletons now. It's no joke. Anyway, the reason I have this is because I have a science fiction project, Retro Power. There's the card right there. And then, uh, inside I have some props and stuff. I'm putting together an exoskeleton. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Oh, I got the camera set up on a tripod. I almost don't want to open the thing. It's got a little, like, paper cut out of a guy with, like, a laser grid, like a hologram, like a holographic person inside the exoskeleton. And if I open it, op cut open the plastic, the little paper thing is gonna wither away. I remember because when I got this one, and that's why I got this one because it was Omega 6. I was like, you know, I was like, somebody made a toy of a character I, I, I created somehow, put it in a toy store. Kind of like G.I. Joe. Now, here's a G.I. Joe. Uh, here's the back of the Sentinel-1. Very good to company. But see, Toys R Us didn't have G.I. Joe. Like, G.I. Joe wasn't coming through. That's really what it came down to. So, Sentinel-1. Bam. They had all kind of stuff that was affordable. And then, somehow... Toys R Us is gone. There's only Target. That's it. Which is lame. There should be options. Anyway, here we go. So I'll bring you into the real exoskeleton project. It's not real. But it looks real. All it has to do is look real, right? So. We're going to have Power Tashi, Power Lamont, and Power Ryan in this. That's the upper body. This is the midsection. This is all the stuff I need for midsection. Here's the feet and the legs. Working on it. I just felt like, a, you know... Want everybody to see, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh trying to get the next next episode going here. I want to make it union, I want to make it SAG signatory. I sort of have a problem. Some of my actors are non-union, some of my actors are union. I'm making this on a very cheap budget. But uh this is just so I'm doing this for research because I need to know how to build this freaking thing. The part I'm having a problem with is right here. The part that closes down over, and that's going to hold a lot of the armor pieces. This piece right here that I need, because that's just an excess guilt, and you're going to add armor to that. You won't even see what's there anymore. Okay. Um, they tell us that we're supposed to tell you to ask you to please like and subscribe, which I hate wasting your time with that because. If every person said that in every video, you can calculate that you spent a certain portion of your life listening to somebody ask you to click, click on something. Like, subscribe, notifications, all this. It's horrible. You should be able to just watch a video without me explaining to you that you can go to W www.renchofpower.com